What if I told you there was a place where you could edit all of your audio files online without downloading any software? Well, today I'm going to show you how to edit audio in Kapwing from cutting, volume, fades, cleaning, as well as adding waveforms and other visual components all online in one easy place. So click the link in the bio and follow along because the first thing you're going to need to do is upload your files. When you click on the link in the bio, you'll be taken to Kapwing. Then click here, and now you can either upload from your device or from a URL link. Now, the first thing you may want to do is edit how long or short your audio files are, or take out a section in the middle. To do that, you are going to cut your audio. Once your file is uploaded, you'll see your audio clip in the timeline at the bottom of the editor. The first way to trim and cut your audio is to click and drag the ends of the audio to where you want it to begin and end. If you want to take out a section in the middle of a clip, you can click and drag your mouse above the clip to place the marker where you want, and then on the left side of the timeline, click split. This will split the clip, and by doing that several times, you can divide your audio into sections, which then you can delete as you wish. The next way to cut your audio is by using trim with transcript. On the left side of the editor, find transcript, and then click generate transcript. When that's done, you will have an entire transcript of your audio and you can delete words, phrases, or whole sentences by highlighting what you don't want and clicking delete. Don't worry, you can always restore sections you want by using the same method. Lastly, you can also cut audio by using Kapwing's Smart Cut. When you click on the audio clip toward the right of the editor, find Smart Cut under AI Tools. This will detect any silences you have in your video and cut them out. You can adjust the silence sensitivity and then click done and voila. So now you've cut your audio. Next, here is how to adjust the volume and add fades. To adjust your volume, you can either go to the audio clip itself and raise or lower the thin purple line across the clip. The percentage of volume will appear as a bubble next to your mouse or go to the right of the editor where you will see the volume bar where you can raise or lower the volume in the same way. To add a fade to your audio, click on the clip and head over to the right side of the editor to click on effects. Click fade, and then choose the speed of your fade, slow, default, or fast. If you want the fade at the beginning of the clip, click intro. If you want it at the end, click outro. And if you want both, click both. But what if you're trying to increase the quality of your audio by removing any background noise? Well then here is how to use clean audio. Click on your audio clip and go over to the right side of the editor. Under AI Tools, you will see Clean Audio. Click it, and then click Clean Audio again, and it will get to work cleaning up all the background noise out of your audio clip. Last but not least, adding something for your audience to look at can keep them engaged. Adding things like waveforms, progress bars, subtitles, and images can help spice it up a bit. So here is how to add visual elements. To add a waveform or progress bar, go to the Elements tab on the left side of the editor. From there, simply browse the type of progress bar or waveform you want to add, and then click it. If you want to put images behind either of those elements, go to the Images tab. You can search through Kapwing's huge library of images and click on the one you like, adding it to your canvas. Be sure to also check out the Smart B-Roll tool above that can automatically generate images based on the transcript of your audio. Lastly, if you want to add subtitles, go over to the Subtitles tab and click Auto Subtitles. And suddenly you will have all of your subtitles ready to go and put on top of your audio. Nice, you have cut, clean, adjusted, and made your audio exactly the way you want it. Now it is time to export your audio. Go to the top right hand corner and click on export project. Choose your format, resolution, and compression level and click on export again. Your project will start exporting in the background. You can either watch its progress here or continue to work by clicking back on your canvas. Once it's done, it will appear in recent exports and when you click download, it will download straight to your device. Kapwing is a full studio editor, so you can not only edit all of your audio here, but you can completely edit all of your content for social media all in one place. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on how to level up your content, and happy editing!